Welcome back to Kyle's Big Board, presented by the Straight Facts Podcast, the series where we count down the top prospects in the upcoming NBA draft and analyze their games. Today we'll be looking at the number 11 prospect on my big board, Devin Vassell. Vassell's a shooting guard from Suwanee, Georgia, who played two seasons of college ball at the Florida State University. Let's break down his game. First, we gotta get into Vassell's strengths. First strength, frame and athleticism. Imagine a 6'7 shooting guard with a 7 foot wingspan who's not just a 3 and D guy, but he's actually very athletic. Well, that guy's right here. Vassell's a very smooth and fluid athlete. He runs the floor well, can play above the rim, and he's very explosive when jumping at the rim. It's not unusual to get a highlight dunk from him. The next strength is shooting. While not an elite shooter like our last prospect, Vassell might be the next best thing when it comes to shooting wings this draft. He shot the three ball at a 42% clip in both his seasons at Florida State, but it's his mechanics here that impress me. His release is very high, he gets the shot off quick, and the jump shot looks very fluid overall in terms of rhythm. He also has that go-to move in the step back that he likes to pull out. Tie all these things together with his ability to finish out the rune, and you have a legitimate NBA scoring option in Devin Vassell. The last strength is defense. It's always great to see a guy who has his hands up on defense. It shows you're engaged and helps us to disrupt passing lanes and potential jump shots. This is how Vassell plays defense. He smothers guys. And while he does gamble a bit too much, he averaged a steal and a half and a block a game last year. His defense is what completes his game and puts him as a lottery prospect for me. He has a high motor and is one of the most active wing defenders in recent memory. Next, we have to move on to his weaknesses. First, he's just a bit too inconsistent as a scorer. While you can always rely on this jump shot, if he's not getting those looks, he can go quiet on you in a game. He doesn't have that isolation game yet that a two guard should have. This comes from his limited set of dribble moves. You're going to see some spin moves and some hesitations, but never any multi-move sequences to try to break a defender. This is where he'll do a pull up if he can't get past you, but those aren't great shots, especially in the NBA. When he does attack the rim, you'll see the dribble get up to his chest sometimes, which result in a lot of his turnovers. The next weakness is strength. While he does play a bit stronger than he looks, he needs to bulk up at the next level. He was going to get bullied a little bit his rookie year, no doubts, but he does have a great NBA frame and with a little added muscle, he should be able to cross out this weakness pretty quick. Now we got to move on to an NBA comparison. For Vassal, one guy really looks the same, and it might be because of their jumper similarities, but they do play similarly too. That guy's Mikael Bridges. Mikael came into the league as a 3 and D guy, but has blossomed to so much more, especially he showed that in the bubble. This should be the same trajectory as Vassal, who should be more than a 3 and D guy, but at the least he's going to give you that. To me, Vassal's upside is going to look something like a Kelly Oubre, especially given his defensive potential. And this could be interesting given that both Bridges and Oubre play for the Suns, of course, and they possess the 10th pick. Vassal could be the perfect guy for them. To conclude, Devin Vassal is one of my favorite players in this year's draft. Already an A defender with a clean stroke, he's going to be a good rotation player from the jump. If he can tighten his handle and start to create his own shots off the dribble a little more, he could be one of the best players in this entire class. I think, however, he is the safest pick in the entire draft. And if I'm the Knicks, the Wizards, Suns, or Spurs, my eyes are all over this kid in the 8-12 to 12 pick range. Thanks for tuning in to the fourth episode of Kyle's Big Board, presented by the Straight Facts Podcast. Let me know what you guys think of Vassal in the comment section down below, and don't forget to tune in next time when I break down the number 10 player on my big board. I hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy, and of course, getting buckets. I'll see you guys next time.